Indie Mogul. This week on Indie News, what is reverb and how to get rid of it? Creative DIY solutions, including the cheap and effective Cone of Silence. That needs another name. Hey, Indie Mogulers, Griffin here. Do you hear that? Can you hear this room? Besides me talking, it's pretty much silent in here. But if you listen carefully, especially with headphones, you can hear the slight reverb on my voice. When I talk in this small room, the sound waves from my voice hit the microphone first, but then they continue to reflect off every wall in this room, coming back as thousands of echoes hitting the microphone at different times. That's reverb. It's not bad. Most of the time, you don't even notice it. You just can subconsciously tell what kind of space I'm in. You can hear that I'm in a small room. And I can fake reverb to make it sound like I'm in a much bigger room. For this shot, I am fine with the reverb that comes with it. But if I'm trying to record a vocal track for a commercial, let's say I'm the announcer, I don't want to bring this room with me into the recording. If I can capture a clean recording, I can always add reverb later if I decide I need it. To eliminate reverb, maybe you've seen how professional recording studios cover their walls with acoustic foam. The spiky design traps sound waves so they're absorbed into the foam rather than reflecting back into the microphone. Problem is, it could cost you thousands of dollars to soundproof an entire room. But you probably have some creative solutions around your house. During a live show, I surrounded myself with pillows and hung a blanket behind me, which eliminated a lot of reverb. Just listen to the difference. You don't have blankets and pillows all over your uh, studio. Hey, Andy Mugglers, it's Griffin here. I've even heard that many professional voiceover artists use their closet as a recording studio because all of these clothes help dampen reverb. But if I'm shooting on location and the project calls for a clean voiceover, I probably don't have a closet I can drag a client into. So look around for creative solutions. This conference room was quiet, but full of reverb, so I grabbed a few chairs and a floor mat to build a sound-dampening wall. The talent delivered her lines facing the wall so her voice didn't carry all over the room. But today, I made a smaller, more portable sound absorber. It starts with foam. I found a DIY pet bed. Hey, Andy, no, that's not for you. I was looking for regular flat foam at a craft store, but this pet cushion looks just like acoustic foam. My plan was to give it a three-sided backing, just like this $70 voice absorber. But after some testing, I found I needed more coverage in all directions. One way would be to chop it up and line all five sides of this plastic crate. I've seen versions that look like that, place the mic inside and talk into it. But I went for an even simpler option with a small $1 laundry basket. I cut out the bottom and rolled the foam into a cone. A cone of silence, if you will. I can hang the cone and mount it over my microphone. This design works well with my shotgun mic, allowing me plenty of distance between the mic and my mouth while still trapping my vocals. So let's hear how it works. Right now, there's nothing to stop the reverb. And now I'm recording into the cone. How about I record voiceover for my squirrel video? Dear Sleepy Squirrel, why are you so sleepy? Did you spend all day wondering where the tree branches went? They were too close to the house, so a tree trimmer came and cleaned things up. I know you used to climb down the roof and leap into the tree, but that branch is gone now. I just showed up at my friend Matt's house. He's a professional voiceover artist, and I'm gonna ambush him with the cone of silence. Can you tell what that's for? Uh, I'm gonna guess that this is your DIY audio studio. Yep. <laughs> that's fantastic. Dear Sleepy Squirrel, Dear Sleepy Squirrel, I'm sorry, but you'll have to devise new routes for traveling from tree to tree. I hope today's episode gives you some ideas for recording clean audio tracks. Thanks for watching, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'll see you next time when I get back from my trip to LA, which is actually where I am right now. This is all a trick, you watching me today. I'm sorry for, for completely fooling you. I'm not here. I'm in Los Angeles. So, see you later.